Good morning to everybody. Welcome to Snappy Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to create custom healthcare app in minutes. So let's start. Logging under your credentials and press create an app button. Here you can select the mode if you're a beginner. I would suggest you to start with express mode. Press start express mode button. Here you can select one of more than 250 templates and the number is growing so right now it's around 300 templates so let's go with healthcare let's choose it over here whoa we have a list of healthcare and other templates that we can use to create an app let's go with this one healthcare template press select and continue here we can select the color theme or we can create custom one let's select one of them and press continue All right, so here we have logging screen, logging tab, I'm sorry. Logging tab um, is used to logging into Snappy system. The other tab is about us. Usually it describes um, and provides the information about your company, the services, gallery with pictures and etc. Next tab is called appointment. So here the patient can add his information and schedule an appointment. The next tab is called our doctors. So a user can open this tab and see all the information about the clinic doctors and um, their information and etc. Next one is called RSS, so users can get the information and the latest news uh, in this area. Next one is called notifications, so you can send the notifications. It is pop-up messages that users can see even on the locked screen. And the next one is logout, so user can log out of this application. Let's start with about us tab. Click on this change tab settings little gear wheel button. Click on it. So here we can change all the information in this tab. We can set a screen title. Um, for example dental and a tab name. Dental. Here we can set a logo type. So let me let me change it to my own. I just did it in uh, paint. It's like all right. Here we can set the text. It appears here. For example, Anatoly's dental clinic and text the best in New England. This is just for example I do not have any dental clinic
Here we can provide a phone number, email. Um, we can also set a map pin icon. We can also provide a website, Twitter, something like that. Facebook page, text. And we can also add and edit services and, and gallery. We can, we can press this button, download sample, open it up. And here we can see three columns. One is for name. The next column is for description. And the third column is for photo. So um, you can put a link to the photo, a straight link. Straight link means that the link should end on .png or .jpeg or, or any uh, picture format. Just put the links over here, name and description. Save the Excel file and upload it over here with this button. Upload Excel S6 file. Press OK button. So right now the system will save all the information. You can see that all the text appeared here. Let's go further. Let's go with the appointment tab. So we can press edit form button. Press yes. And here we can see all the fields that will be in the appointment form. So user can specify his name, gender, birth date, uh, he can specify his phone number and choose a doctor, visit date and comments. So let me delete some of the fields. That would be easier to show you how to do that from the scratch. For example, if you want to add one more or more fields. So at the left side of the screen, we have basic fields. So it's uh, text, drop down, paragraph, checkbox, radio buttons or multi-line entry and pre-built fields so you can put image uh, you can put name gender address email phone number and etc you can also put sign and draw a field to put a sign for example so let me add drop down field we can also move it over here we can set a title of it, for example, choose a doctor. Placeholder is used inside the field, so this um, gray drop-down text is a placeholder, so we can specify, um, please select a doctor. And we can also um, put the choices over here, one per line. Um, Dr. A, Dr. B, and Dr. C. We can also um, mark this checkbox and it will allow users to add their own options. We don't need, we don't need that. So let's just hit apply. We can see that the changes were applied. Name, gender, birth date, entry, phone number. Let's add more fields. For example, let's add um, take photo field and sign draw field. We can set it as required so the form can be submitted cannot be submitted if this field is not um, filled out. So I believe the form is ready. This is very important. Just press save button over there at the top. It will save the form. All right. So everything is saved. We can press exit button.
great. So we can see that the tab was um, redesigned and edited and changed. So let's go down. This is our doctor's tab. We can set the tab settings. This is a list that user can see a list of doctors. So we can, this is the same thing as we talked in appointment tab. We'll get back to the appointment tab later. So we can download sample, open it up. Put some doctors over here and their type also. Um, let's leave it like that. Let's leave the photos. This is straight links. So the link ends on um, .jpg or .png on file extension. So here is just a default text. So let's leave it like that. When the Excel file is changed, you can press upload button and you can see that the changes appear in the app. All right, I believe we're all set. With this, let's just check the app on the device. So we should press this button, save and run on the device. We can also uh, enter the application name. Let's leave it as, as healthcare. Press OK. And let me share my device screen. Let me open Snap Preview app on my device. All right, here's my list of apps, so I can, I can check the app right at the moment. So I can see that the main tab with services, gallery, and about us tab. So this is a text that can be changed over here. It's dental. And here is the text that can be changed. So we can change it, for example, Anatoly's Dental Clinic on the or just is the best in New England area. Something like that. Press the key button. And save and run on device. After that we can click twice on the top of iPad and press refresh button. So right now we can see that all text was changed. There are also links to email, to phone, uh, to map pin. Everything can be changed. So that's really extremely convenient and this is extremely fast. Here is also the links to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and um, website. We can also see the gallery with photos that were um, default images. You can find them over here and you can also change them. I'm sorry, wrong tab.
here, add an edit gallery. So we can download sample. And change photo links and comments. After that, save the Excel file and press upload XLSX file. Here is the next tab, appointment. Do you remember that we've added some more fields, like saying draw and add a photo? So let me uh, fill out the form, name Anatoly, gender, male, birth date, Also, I should specify by phone number and choose a doctor. Do you remember that we've set up a list of choices, doctors? So let me schedule an appointment to Dr. C, visit date, and leave some comments. Also, let me add a photo. I can take a photo from my device camera or choose from library. Let me take it run right from the device. Let me first allow camera access to this app. So here we can see that camera access is not allowed in this app, so let me allow camera and go back to to this application. Let me run it again. All right, appointment. Dr. C, visit date, comments, and let me take a photo. I can also put my sign here. And press save. You can also change the color. It is extremely convenient and powerful. Press save. And we can press send button. Great, so I will get an email right in the minutes. So the email will go to To, to my email address. So here we can also specify the report file name and file format. We can get it in PDF, spreadsheet, Word, or email body format. Here we can specify the user types that can see the form in this tab. Hit apply if you made some changes. Let's go further. Let's go to the next tab. It's called Our Doctors. Do you remember that we've walked through the Excel file with uh, text and links to the photos? So you can uh, scroll down if there will be more than four doctors. Here is the RSS that we can get all the um, information and use. And here is the Notifications tab. Thank you very much for your attention. Let me unmute you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Hi, David. Do you have any questions? Hi, David. Can you hear Hi, me? Hi, how are you? I'm can great. You hear me? Thank you. Yeah, I can hear you well. Thank you. 
Um, can you just talk a little about the storage of the data um, and how that has worked? I know you said you send an email, mm -hmm. but I know there's other ways to potentially create like a database where it's updated um, and, um, you know, can, can it be done? At this, can both be done? In other words, can you store the data into a database and then also get the emails? Um, and then also, can you talk a little about um, HIPAA compliance? Um, in the, you know, in the U.S., we worry about the, uh, there's a HIPAA regulation, and can you tell us about the data and where it's stored and how you guard against any violations with that? Sure. Sure. Thank you very much for your question. So, express mode is very powerful for beginners. So, it creates a database automatically. But, if you want to create your own database or uh, connect any um, API RESTful uh, database that outside of the Snappy platform, you should switch to Guru mode. Let me save the changes over here and switch to Guru mode. So, when you create a database, all the databases are stored on our Snappy servers. They are safe. So, there is no need to worry about any um, any bad things with them. So, here I changed the mode to Guru. We can see that this is, um, it is so different to work with Guru. You can move all the elements, you can do most of things that you can't do in the express mode. Here is the little data sources button. Press on it. And here you can see that the data sources was created automatically when you created the form or tab in express mode. So you can press new, give it a name, and add some fields to it. You can also, um, you can also set a type of them and press save. After that, you can connect this data source to the form or to any other element. So you can put the information over there or you can pull it from there. Thank you very much. Do you have any other questions? Yes, David? Sorry, um, can you talk about HIPAA compliance? Um, yes, so you can find information about HIPAA compliance on our website. And um, I believe we have some templates of it. Let me check it for you, please. So we have HIPAA authorization and compliance template. So you can uh, go with this one. And again, um, you can select a color thing. Okay. And here is HIPAA compliance template form. So you can use this one and create your own app like in a snap. Okay. Thank you very much. So let me open it to show you here is the authorization form. You can also see the saved forms and the saved files in PDF and Excel. Thank you very much.
Hi, Melanie. Hi, how are you? I'm great, um, thanks. I have a question. So, sure. are the tabs connected? Like, so if you select the customer in one tab, will it automatically populate over to your form? Yes, so it is possible. Um, and let me explain you how. So, the first thing you have to do, you have to create a database. And after that, you should connect all the information in database with the list element. And you can connect the list element with the database and put some formulas to it. So I can leave my email address so we can talk about it later. I mean, after, uh, after this webinar, because it's a thing that takes not five or ten minutes to do. So I can Thank explain you. it to you very clearly so you can understand. But yes, this is possible. And if you go to Guru mode and um, create a database connected to a list element and put some formulas to it, yes, you can sure. You can select the customer, for example, and all the fields that are below, like, uh, I don't know, the address, the health insurance card number or anything like that will be auto populated. Okay. Thank you very much, Melanie. Do anybody have a question? Thank you very much. It was very nice to meet you over here. And feel free to follow our workshop. Um, the next one will be today. Um, use snappy.com slash workshop to follow all our information about workshops. Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend.